question number 181 choose the incorrect statement with reference to restriction enzymes option 1 the specific palindromic sequence which is recognized by eco r1 is c t t a a g this is incorrect because the recognition sequence of eco r1 is g a a t t c and here is the 5 prime and and here is the 3 prime and g a a T T C. Second option restriction enzymes may cut the strands of DNA a little away from the center of the palindromic sites. This is a correct statement, and if they do so, it will result in sticky ants. Third option restriction endonucleases are used in genetic engineering to form recombinant molecule of DNA. This is a correct statement. Restriction endonucleases are known as molecular scissors and they are used to cut DNA molecules. Fourth option these enzymes cut the strands of DNA between the same two bases on the opposite strands. This is also a correct statement. Incorrect statement is option number one. So, correct answer to this question is option number one. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 182. Identify the substances having glycosidic bond and peptide bond respectively in their structure and the options given are first option glycerol. In glycerol, glycosidic bonds are not present. Chymotrypsin, it is a protein and in protein amino acids are linked by peptide bond but this cannot be a correct answer. Second option starch and starch is a polysaccharide and polysaccharides they are polymer of monosaccharides. Monosaccharides are linked by glycosidic bond. So this is correct. Inulin, inulin is again a carbohydrate, a polysaccharide and in polysaccharide glycosidic bonds are present. So this cannot be a correct answer. Third option gingerly oil. In gingerly oil it is a lipid and fatty acids and glycerol are linked by ester bonds so this cannot be a correct answer insulin is a protein and in protein peptide bonds are present fourth option glycogen glycogen is a carbohydrate and in carbohydrate monosaccharides are linked by glycosidic bonds so this is correct papsin is an enzyme and enzymes Almost all enzymes are proteinaceous in nature. Papsin is a protein and in protein amino acids are linked by peptide bonds. So this is a correct combination. So correct answer to this question is option number 4. Question number 183. Match the following columns and select the correct option. Column 1. Malleus. Malleus is attached to the incus bone medially in middle ear three ear ossicles are present malleus incus and stapes and malleus is attached to the incus bone medially here you can see this is malleus this is incus this is a stapes and this malleus is attached to incus medially medial surface is that surface which is close to the central axis of the body and lateral surface is that surface which is away from the central axis of the body B. Scala media. Scala media matches with one that is a space within cochlea which is filled with endolymph. So A matches with the fourth and B matches with one. Organ of corti contain hair cells that act as auditory receptors. So C matches with two. Vestibular apparatus composed of semicircular canals and otolith. So D matches with three. So, A matches with 4, B with 1, C with 2 and D with 3. This combination is given in option number 2. So, correct answer to this question is option number 2. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 184. Identify the correct statement with reference to immunity and the options given are first option when ready-made antibodies are directly given it is called passive immunity. This is a correct statement. Second statement option active immunity is quick and give its full effective response in less time this is incorrect because active immunity is slow and it takes time to give its full effective response third option fetus receives igg antibodies from mother through placenta it is an example of natural active immunity this is incorrect because this is an example of passive immunity
Option number four, if a person is infected with tetanus bacterium clostridium tetani, immunization with anti-tetanus serum will provide active immunity to the person. This is incorrect because it will provide passive immunity, not active. So, correct answer to this question is option number one. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 185. In between brush border cells of small intestine, certain cells are modified to secrete mucus called goblet cells which are modified. And the options given are first option columnar cells, second option cuboidal cells, third option squamous cells and fourth option polygonal cells. And the mucus secreting cells called goblet cells they are modified from columnar cells so correct answer to this question is option number one let's proceed to the next section mm -hmm.